Blessed is your, blessed is your God, always now and different to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you, O heavenly King, the comfort of the spirit of truth. Who are everywhere and fill all things, the treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell within us and cleanse us from every blemish and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Come let us worship and fall down our King and God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come let us worship and fall down before the very Christ our King and our God. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, hasten to help me. Let those who seek my soul be ashamed and reproached. Let those who wish me evil turn back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, well done, turn away in shame. Let those who seek you, O God, rejoice and delight in you. And let those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. But I am poor and destitute, O God, help me. You are my helper and my deliverer, Lord, do not delay. When I call... O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chastise me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is also greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long return, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for your mercy's sake, for in death no one remembers you, and in Hades who will give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. Shall I weep every night upon my bed and drench my couch with tears? My eye is troubled with my grief. I am worn out because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you who work iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord heard my petition. The Lord has accepted my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and troubled. Let them turn back and be greatly ashamed instantly. How long, O Lord, will you forget me? Forever, how long will you turn your face away from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul and have grief in my heart, day and night? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Look over me, hear me, O Lord, my God, and lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him. Those who trouble me would rejoice if I were to totter, but I have placed my trust in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I shall sing to the Lord who has done me so much good, and I shall sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High. Look over me, hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemy say I have prevailed over him. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you, O Lord, I have lifted my soul. O oh, my God, I have, in you I have trusted. Let me never be put to shame, ever. Neither let my enemies laugh at me, for all those who seek you shall not be put to shame. Let those who transgress without cause be put to shame. Make known to me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my Saviour, and I have waited for you all day. Remember your compassions, Lord, and your mercies, for they are from all ages. The sins of my youth and my ignorance remember not. Remember me according to your mercy, for your goodness' sake, Lord. The Lord is good and upright, therefore Ty shall cancel sinners in the way. He shall lead the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for those who seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, Lord, do you also be merciful on my sin, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will teach him in the way he has chosen. 
His soul shall dwell in prosperity, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and he will reveal his covenant to them. My eyes shall be forever turned toward the Lord, for I loose my feet from the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am alone and destitute. The afflictions of my heart have multiplied. Deliver me from my straits. Behold my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Behold my enemies, that they have multiplied, and have hated me with an unjust hatred. Preserve my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in you. The harmless and upright sided with me, for I waited for you, Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, from all his afflictions. In you, O Lord, I have put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to hear me and hasten to my deliverance. Be for me a protecting God and a house of shelter to save me, because you are my strength and my shelter, and for your name's sake you shall guide me and feed me. You shall put me out of the snare which they have set secretly for me, because you are my protector. In your hands shall I commit my spirit, for you have delivered me, O Lord, the God of truth. You have hated those who idly persist in vanities, but I have put my trust in the Lord. I shall rejoice and delight in his mercy." For he has looked upon my affliction and saved my soul from distress. You have not trapped me in the hands of the enemy, but set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am oppressed. My eye, my soul, and my belly waste away with indignation. For my life is spent with grief and my years with groanings. My strength has failed through misery and my bones are troubled. I am a reproach to all my enemies and especially so to my neighbors and a terror to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I have been forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I became like a broken vessel, for I heard the accusations of many who swelled around me. When they were gathered together against me, they plotted to take my life. But I put my trust in you, O Lord. I said, you are my God and my fate is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy and those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant and save me in your mercy. Lord, do not let me be put to shame, for I called upon you. Let the ungodly be ashamed and be cast down to Hades. Let the deceitful lips which speak iniquity against the righteous with pride and scorn become dumb. How great is the abundance of your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you. In the presence of the sons of man you shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the disturbances of men you shall shelter them in your tent from the strife on tongues blessed be the lord for his mercy has marvelously encompassed me like a strong city yet in my distraction i did say i am cast out out of the sight of your eyes therefore you did hear the voice of my petition when I cried out to you, love the Lord, all you his holy ones, for the Lord seeks the truth and fully repays those who deal very proudly. Take courage and be of strong heart, you who hope in the Lord. He who dwells under the shadow of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He will say to the Lord, you are my support and my refuge. O oh my God, in him I shall put my trust. For he will deliver you from the hunter's snare and from every troublesome slander. With his broad shoulders he shall overshadow you, and under his wings you shall rest secure. His truth shall cover you like a shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the thing that lurks about in the darkness, nor any calamity or the evil spirit at noon. A thousand shall fall at your side, and then ten thousand at your right, but nothing shall come close to you. Instead, you shall observe with your eyes and see the retribution of the sinners, for you, Lord, are my hope. You made the most high my shelter. No evil shall come to you, and no pestilence shall approach your dwelling, for he will put his angels in charge of you to protect you in all your ways. They will carry you on their hands, lest you stumble your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp, and the viper, and you shall trample upon the lion and the dragon, because he hoped in me. I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he knew my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and glorify him. I will satisfy him with length of days, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is with us, no you nations and be vanquished, for God is with us. Give ear even to the utmost parts of the earth, for God is with us. You that have prevailed, even you will be vanquished, for God is with us. Though you shall prevail again, yet again you shall be vanquished, for God is with us. And whatever counsel you shall take, the Lord will bring it to nothing, for God is with us. And whatever word you speak, it shall not abide in you, for God is with us. And the fear of you we shall not fear, neither shall we be troubled, for God is with us. But we will sanctify the Lord our God, and he shall be our fear, for God is with us. And if I put my trust in him, he shall be my sanctification, for God is with us. Behold I, and I will put my trust in him, and through him I shall be saved, for God is with us. Behold I, and the children which God gave me, for God is with us. For us that dwell in the land and shadow of death, a light shall shine, for God is with us. For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, for God is with us. His government is come upon his shoulder, for God is with us. And of his peace there is no end, for God is with us. And his name shall be called the angel of great counsel, for God is with us. Wonderful counselor, for God is with us. The mighty God, he that has authority, the prince of peace, for God is with us. The Father of the age to come, for God is with us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, for God is with us. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen, for God is with us. God is with us. Know you nations and be vanquished, for God is with us. Having passed the day, I give thanks to you, Lord, and I ask you to grant me the evening and the night without sin. O oh, my Saviour, and save me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now that the day has gone by, I glorify you, Master. I ask you to grant me the evening and the night without sin, O oh, my Saviour, and save me. Now and ever into the ages of ages, I'm in. Having traversed the day, I sing hymns to you, O Holy One. I ask you to grant me the evening and the night free of plots, O oh, my Saviour, and save me. The bodiless natures, the cherubim, glorify and praise you with unceasing hymns. And the six winged beings, the seraphim, extol and extol you with endless voice. The whole company of the angelic hosts acclaim and praises you with thrice holy song. You, the Father, existing before all things, who has also your Son, co beginning land. With the equally honoured spirit of life, you do show forth the Trinity's unity. O Holy Virgin, Mother of God, and your servants and witnesses of the world. All you choirs of prophets and martyred saints, who are crowned with the gift of immortal life. Intercede with fervour in our behalf, for we are in much suffering and distress so that safe from the error of the evil one we may cry out and chant the angelic song holy 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 thrice 
Most Holy Lord, have mercy and save us. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, through him all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became human and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Oh, oh, holy lady, the Theotokos, intercede for us who are sinners. Oh, oh, holy lady, the Theotokos, intercede for us who are sinners. Oh, oh, holy lady, the Theotokos, intercede for us who are sinners. All you heavenly hosts of holy angels and archangels, Intercede for us who are sinners. All you heavenly hosts of holy angels and archangels, intercede for us who are sinners. O Saint John, prophet and forerunner and baptist of the Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us who are sinners. O Saint John, prophet and forerunner and baptist of our Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us who are sinners. O oh, holy, glorious apostles, prophets, and martyrs, and all saints, intercede for us who are sinners. O oh, all oh, holy, glorious apostles, prophets, and martyrs, and all the saints, intercede for us who are sinners. O oh, our righteous and God-bearing fathers, shepherds, and teachers of the world, intercede for us who are sinners. O oh, our righteous and God-bearing fathers, shepherds, and teachers of the world intercede for us who are sinners. O invincible and indissoluble and divine power of the honoured and life-giving cross, forsake not us who are sinners. O invincible and indissoluble and divine power of the honoured and life-giving cross, forsake not us who are sinners. God be gracious to us who are sinners. God be gracious to us who are sinners. God be gracious to us who are sinners. And have mercy on us. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Illumine my eyes, O Christ my God, lest I sleep to death, lest my enemy say I prevailed over him. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O God, be the protector of my soul, for I walk in the midst of many snares. Deliver me from them and save me, O gracious one, as a good friend of man. Now endeavour into the ages of ages, amen. 
Since we have no standing because of our many sins, urgently plead with him who was born of you, O Virgin Theotokos, for the pleadings of a mother have much weight toward the favour of the Master. Do not overlook the pleas of us sinners, O most venerable one, for he who condescended to suffer for us in the flesh is merciful and has the power to save us. <coughs> o Lord, you know the wakefulness of my enemies and the weakness of my miserable flesh. For you made man, wherefore into your hands I shall entrust my spirit. Cover me with the wings of your goodness, lest I sleep unto death. Illumine my inner eyes with the delight of your divine words, and awaken me at the right time, that I may sing your glory as the only good one and true friend of man. Look graciously upon me and have mercy on me, as you do for those who love your name. Oh, how awesome is your judgment, Lord, with the angels standing by, the humans being brought in, the books of life being opened, the works being uncovered and the thoughts being searched. What judgment shall be on me who has been conceived in sin? Who shall extinguish the flames of my fire? Who shall illumine my darkness unless you, Lord, have mercy on me as a true friend of man? Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Give me tears, Lord, as you did once to the sinful woman. Make me worthy to wet your feet which freed me from the way of error, and to offer you as a fragrant ointment a pure life built in me through repentance, so that I may also hear your cherished words. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Trusting in your unshameable hope, O Theotokos, I shall be saved. Possessing your protection, most pure one, I shall not be afraid. I shall pursue my enemies and drive them away, wearing only your refuge as a breastplate and asking for your all-powerful help. I cry to you, O Lady, save me, through your intercessions and raise me from this dark slumber, through the power of the Son and God born from you, so that I may sing your glory. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, past compare more gracious than the seraphim you who without corruption has borne god the word the truly theotokos you do we magnify in the name of the lord father give the blessing through the prayers of our holy fathers lord jesus christ our god have mercy on us and save us amen lord lord who have delivered us from every arrow that flies by day <coughs> deliver us from anything that lurks about in darkness accept the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice Make us worthy to traverse the time of night blamelessly, untouched by evil, and redeem us from every disturbance and fear caused by the devil. Grant contrition to our souls and concern to our minds about the accounting at your awesome just and just judgment. Nail down our bodies with your fear and deaden our earthly members, so that even the quiet of our slumber, we may be enlightened by the contemplation of your ordinances. Keep away from us every indecent fantasy and harmful desire. Awaken us in the time of prayer rooted in the faith and thriving in your instructions through the goodwill and goodness of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my offence. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For, I'm, for I am aware of my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you might be found justified in your words and emerge victoriously when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins my mother bore me. For behold, you have loved truth. You reveal to me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be made clean. You shall wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. The afflicted bones shall rejoice." 
Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take away your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and strengthen me with the guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly will turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O Lord, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have offered it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a contrite and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, Lord, to Zion in your good pleasure that the walls of Jerusalem may be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of justice, offering and whole burnt sacrifices. Then they shall offer bulls upon your altar. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Do not turn your face away from me and whenever I am afflicted, incline your ear to me. On the day I will call on you, hear me speedily, for my days have vanished like smoke and my bones have been parched like dry sticks. I am withered like grass and my heart is dried up, for I have forgotten to eat my bread. From the cries of my groanings, my bones have clung to my flesh. I have become like the pelican of the wilderness. I have become like a night raven in a deserted house. I went without sleep. I became like a sparrow perched alone on the rooftop. All day long, my enemies made fun of me and my admirers swore against me. Indeed, I have eaten ashes as if it were bread and have mixed my drink with tears, all because of your anger and your wrath. For after lifting me up, you dashed me down. My days have declined like a shadow, and I am withered like grass. But you, Lord, endure forever, and you shall be remembered from generation to generation. You shall rise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to have mercy on her. For the time has come, for your servants have desired her stones and felt pity for her dust. And the nations shall fear your name, Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build Zion and shall be seen in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the lowly and has not despised their petition. Let this be written for the coming generation and the people yet to be created shall praise the Lord. For he has looked out from the height of his dwelling place. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the earth to hear the groanings of those in fetters, to loosen the sons of those put to death to proclaim in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together along with their kings to serve the Lord, he said to the Lord in the waning of his strength, tell me how few my days are. Do not take me away in the middle of my days. Your years are for generations of generations. In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain and all shall grow old like a garment, like a cloak you shall change them, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years shall never end. The children of your servants shall dwell in secure, and their seed shall prosper forever. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of their righteous seed who created the heaven and the earth with all their adornment, who bound the sea by the word of your command, who shut up the abyss and scaled it with your awesome and glorious name, whom all things dread and before whose power they tremble, because of the majesty of your glory is unbearable and the threat of your anger against the sin is unendurable. Yet the mercy of your promise is both immeasurable and unfathomable. For you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering and all-merciful and relent on the wickedness of man. You, Lord, in the multitude of your goodness promised repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you and in your infinite compassion appointed repentance for sinners, that they may be saved. Therefore, Lord, the God of the powers, you have not appointed repentance for the righteous Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against you, but you appointed repentance for me, the sinner, for I have committed more sins than the grains of the sand of the sea. My transgressions have multiplied, Lord. My transgressions have multiplied, and I am not worthy to look upon and see the height of the sky from the multitude of my iniquities, being weighted down by many iron chains, so that I cannot raise my head. There is no respite left for me because I provoked your anger and committed evil before you, not having done your will and not having kept your commandments. And now I bend the knee of my heart beseeching your goodness. I have sinned, Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. But I beg and ask of you, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, and do not destroy me with my transgressions. 
Do not be angry with me forever and keep my evils in me and do not condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you are God, the God of those who repent, and in me you shall show all your goodness. For even though I am unworthy, you shall save me according to the multitude of your mercy. And I shall praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For every heavenly power sings your praises, and yours is the glory unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are empty of all defense. As sinners we offer this supplication to you, O Master, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we have put our trust. Be not exceedingly angry with us, nor remember our many iniquities. But look upon us now as the compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God and we your people. We are all the work of your hands, and upon your name we have now called. Now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. The doors of caring do now open unto us, O most blessed Theodorus, so that hoping in you we shall not fail. Through you we may be delivered from adversities, for you are the salvation of the Christian faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honour than the cherubim, and past compare more glorious than the seraphim. You who without corruption has borne God the word, the truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen. O Master God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. One Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And in your knowing way, save me, your unworthy servant, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ, our King and our God. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, hasten to help me. Let those who seek my soul be shamed and reproached. Let those who wish me evil turn back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, well done, well done, turn away in shame. Let those who seek you, O God, rejoice and delight in you. And let those who love your salvation always say, the Lord be exalted. But I am poor and destitute, O God, help me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. O Lord, hear my prayer, lend ear to my supplication in your truth, and in your ju justice hear me, and do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no living person can be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, and has brought my life down to the ground. He has forced me to live in the darkness like those dead for centuries, and my spirit is in anguish. My heart within me is troubled. I reminisce the days of old. I meditate on all your works, and all the creations of your hands did I contemplate. I stretched out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like parched land. Hear me speedily, Lord. 
My spirit has failed me. Do not turn away your face from me, else I will be like those who go down in the graves. Make me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in you. Make known to me, Lord, the road I should walk on, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, Lord, for I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me in straight paths for your name's sake. Lord, you shall give me life. In your justice, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. And I will utterly destroy all those who will afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to man. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father and have mercy on us, for you are the only Holy One, you are the only Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every evening I shall bless you and I shall praise your name forever and unto the centuries of centuries. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you have I fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this night we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages of Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your rules of life. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your rules of life. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your rules of life. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you becomes praise, to you becomes a hymn, to you becomes glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his powers. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and help. Lord of the powers, be with us. For in times of distress, we have no other help but you. Oh, Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise 
praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Lord of the powers, be with us, for in times of distress, we have no other help but you, O oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise him with tuneful symbols, praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Lord of the powers, be with us, for in times of distress, we have no other help but you, O oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Lord of the powers, be with us, for in times of distress, we have no other help but you, O oh Lord of the powers, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, if we did not have your saints as intercessors and your goodness feeling compassion for us, how would we dare, O Saviour, to sing hymns to you whom the angels unceasingly bless? O you who know our hearts, spare our souls. Now and ever into the age of the ages, amen. Great is the multitude of my errors, O Mother of God. To you have I fled, O pure one, seeking salvation. Visit my ailing soul and intercede with your Son and our God to grant me forgiveness for all the evils I have done, O only blessed one. O holy Theotokos, for the Jewish Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O Christ our God, who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who love the just and show mercy to the sinners, who call all men to salvation through the promise of the blessings to come, do you, the same Lord, receive also our supplications at this present time and direct our lives according to your commandments, sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds right, clear up our thoughts and deliver us from every sorrow, evil and distress. Surround us with your holy angels so that being guarded and guided by their presence, we may arrive at the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For blessed are you until the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honour than the cherubim, and past compare, more glorious than the seraphim. You who without corruption have borne God the word, the true Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God have compassion on us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and have mercy on us. Lord and Master of my life, do not permit the spirit of laziness and meddling, the lust of power and idle talk to come unto me. Be 
Instead, grant me your servant the spirit of prudence, humility, patience, and love. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God be merciful to me a sinner and have mercy on me. Yes, Lord and King, grant me to see my own faults and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Lord have mercy, 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 and save us all, O Holy Virgin, O spotless, unstained, incorruptible, undefiled, pure Virgin. Lady, Bride of God, who through your wondrous birth-giving united God the Word with mankind and linked the fallen nature of our human race with the heavenly, the only hope of the hopeless and the help of the persecuted, the ready support of those who seek refuge in you and the shelter of all Christians, do not despise me, the wretched sinner who have defiled myself with shameful thoughts and words and deeds and through negligence of thought have become slave to the pleasures of life. But as the mother of our compassionate God and a friend of man, have compassion on me, the sinner and prodigal, and accept this prayer from my impure lips. And using your motherly standing, entreat your son and our master and Lord to open unto me the depths of his loving goodness and overlooking my innumerable faults to return me to repentance and to make me a worthy servant of his commandments. Stand by me forever in this life as a mer merciful and compassionate and good and lovingly warm protector and helper by repulsing the assaults of the adversary and leading me towards salvation. And at the time of my death, by embracing my miserable soul and driving far away from it the dark fears of the evil demons and at the awesome day of judgment by redeeming me from eternal hell and proclaiming me an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. May I enjoy such fate, my lady, most holy Theotokos, through your intercession and protection, through the grace and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Saviour Jesus Christ, to whom belong all glory, honour and worship, together with his beginningless Father and the all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. May grant to us, Master, to depart this sleep, rest in body and soul, and preserve us from the evil slumberings and from every dark and nocturnal pleasure, Arrest the drives of passion, extinguish the burning arrows of the evil one, which mysteriously fly in our direction. Suppress the rebellious rebellions of our flesh and calm out every earthly and material thought. And grant to us, O oh God, alert mind, prudent thinking, sober heart, light sleep, free of any satanic fantasy. Awaken us at the time of prayer, rooted in your commandments, and having unbroken within us the remembrance of your ordinances. Grant that we may sing your glory through the night by praising and blessing and glorifying your most honourable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious ever virgin, blessed Theotokos, bring our prayer before your Son and our God and entreat him through you to save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my shelter. Holy Trinity, glory to you. Unto you do I commit my every hope. O Mother of God, guard me under your shelter. And with your spirit, most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the venerable bodiless powers in heaven, 
through the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, make our supplication acceptable to you. Amen. Grant the remission of our errors. Amen. Cover us with the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and foe. Amen. Bring peace into our lives. Lord, have mercy on us and on your world and save our souls as a good friend of man. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For the pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Macarius and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have for our absent fathers, brothers and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who help us and those who serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who have asked us the unworthy to pray for them. Lord, have mercy. For the release of the captives. Lord, have mercy. For those sailing the seas. Lord, have mercy. For those laid up with illnesses. Lord, have mercy. Let us also pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord, have mercy. And for all our fathers and brethren departed like light, those who lie here in peace in the Orthodox everywhere. Lord, have mercy. Let us say for ourselves also, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. On seeing your unjust slaughter, O Christ, your pure mother cried in grief. O most sweet child, how is it that you die so lawlessly. How is it that you who has suspended all the earth upon the floods of waters are now yourself suspended from the tree? O most merciful benefactor, do not leave me your mother and handmaid alone. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. In five minutes, we'll start the, the spiritual talk.